welcome back to my channel mental health with melissa i'm melissa if you're new here first things first please do not forget to hit that like and subscribe button for more content like this i post videos every single sunday and wednesday subscribing to my channel really helps me get mental health information out there to our communities of color and also information to those that are interested in the mental health professions. I like to do a lot of these LCSW test prep um, series types of videos and also mental health psychoeducational videos. So if you're interested in learning more about my series on LCSW um, exam practice questions, then please stay tuned. So what we're going to be doing today is we are going to be going over the categories on LCSW exam series. So I'm going to go ahead and link the video down below where I talk about the five categories that are on the LCSW exam that you need to know. The last video that I did, um, the category that we did a practice question on was professional relationships, values, and ethics category. So today we're going to be looking at the human development, diversity, and behavioral and environment category, but more particularly, the question is going to center around diversity. So how I do these um, practice questions is I read them and um, you can follow along as I read them. And um, you can also pause to read yourself because I understand some people are more visual learners, some are more auditory learners. And regardless of which way you decide to um, break down the question, I want you to take a moment to pause the video right here because I want you to um, take a look at this question and then answer it and give your rationale, write out your rationale to the um, reason why you chose the answer so that when we go through it, we can compare the rationale that I talk about and the correct answer to your rationale and answer. So this is a good way to learn um, to see kind of where your critical thinking skills are. So go, let's go ahead and get started. A school social worker receives a student referral from a teacher. The student is a 15-year-old Asian American who presents emotional, stating her parents feel she is not respectful of her culture at home. However, at school, she does not feel American enough compared to her fellow peers and students. She states no one understands the culture she identifies with. What is the best way for the social worker to inquire about the client's cultural identity? So, as always, I like to break down the vignette or the question because doing so really helps us figure out what it is that the test is looking for in our answer. So let's go ahead and start by doing that. So you're a school social worker and your client is a student, okay? The student is 15 years old, so this is some demographic information right here. Um, 15-year-old Asian American who presents as emotional stating her parents, so her parents feel she is not respecting culture at home and at school she doesn't feel American enough compared to her, her peers. And then she makes a statement that no one understands the culture she identifies with. What is the best way for the social inquire about the client's cultural identity. So right away, again, um, like I mentioned earlier, this category is the human development, diversity and behavior and environment category type of question. But more specifically, this is going to be looking at diversity. So the category really is going to wanna test your ability um, to answer questions about cultural competence. And like I've mentioned before in other videos, we have to look at key terms here. So what is the best way for the social worker to inquire about the client's cultural identity? So I'm gonna link down below my video on best, most, and first questions because the way that you answer those are very specific. And so here we want to know what the best way for the social worker to inquire about the client's cultural identity. So let's go ahead and take a look at the options. A, do you consider yourself 
American or Asian? B, what is your cultural identity? C, how can you make your parents and friends happy? Or D, tell me why you are emotional. So let's now start to break down each um, possible option. A, do you consider yourself American or Asian? Now, giving a, a client two options to choose from is kind of making an assumption that they are just going to tell you that they're American or Asian or that they just identify with one of the op options that you're giving them. So in this vignette, we see that um, the student already feels like she is having to fit in um, fit into two different cultures, it sounds like. Um, her culture at home with her family and then the culture at school. And so we want to make sure that she has the opportunity to describe how she identifies without putting a label or giving her options, which it sounds like people may have been doing to her. So A doesn't sound like the strongest answer to me. B, what is your cultural identity? So this sounds like a very open-ended question and I like this. So before we go ahead and just choose it right away, let's look at the other options. C, how can you make your parents and friends happy? Now, she was referred to us because she was emotional, it looks like, and it sounds like she's already trying to juggle, um, you know, these two different worlds. So the world at home with her parents and then the world at school with her peers. So it doesn't seem like it would be the most appropriate thing to ask how to make her parents and friends happy. Maybe this can be explored later on, but is it the best way to address where the student is at right now? I don't think so. Let's take a look at the next option or the last option, D. Tell me why you are emotional. So and another type of open-ended statement here, which is good. I like this because it um, is having the client kind of start where she's at, but we're making um, a judgment right here that um, you know she's emotional and we're not exploring some other things that may need to be looked at first. So this may be a good option, but is it the best? And again, this is a key term here, the best way to respond um, to this, the client. Um, I'm gonna say no. So we really are going to go with B. What is your cultural identity? When we ask an open-ended question like this during like an initial or first session, we're really allowing the client to open up and tell us from her words what she feels like she identifies with and um, that's going to help build the rapport. So you're able to ask the client um, a question that has a lot to do with what she's dealing with and we don't want to put any labels on or options on um, what she's going through. So we just wanna ask an open-ended question about what her presenting concerns are. So what is your cultural identity is going to be the most appropriate answer. Thank you so much for watching. Um, please again, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button for more content like this. I'm gonna be going over a, another um, a practice test question from the five categories next uh, video. And if you have a um, suggestion for one, then let me know in the comments section below. Thank you so much for watching. And remember, managing mental health matters.